Hello everybody, in today's episode of Dare to Repair, we'll be looking at a faulty Bluetooth module on a V11. Basically we had this V11 and every time I would turn on the headlight, the Bluetooth will disconnect. <laughs> Firstly we need some tools, a standard Phillips screw screwdriver and a small one as well, a flathead screwdriver and we will need a bit of silicon for waterproofing at the end. You can also use a drill to undo the screws quicker. So first we start by undoing the headlight module uh, from the body and just removing all of the screws and then gently with the flathead screwdriver we just push it out of the chassis and then what I'm doing now is I'm testing another light unit because I wasn't sure that the Bluetooth board was faulty and then I saw that the Bluetooth connectivity didn't drop when I turn on the headlight unit then after the check was successful then I started disassembling the unit so then I can take the good Bluetooth board out and with the other headlight unit I will go a bit more in depth of all the screws that you need to remove just a quick ad break, I want to highlight one product we have in stock, which is this really cool USB pump that has lights, has a lot of adapters. And basically, if you have a flat tire on your wheel, on your car, or you want to pump up balls like basketball balls, football balls, whatever, uh, this is great. It actually, with one full charge, you can fill up four uh, car tires which is quite impressive and you have a rubber adapter which is flexible which will make life so much easier if the valve is in an awkward position so check out the mobile air pump on the speedyfeed.co.uk website and I'll see you later inside here we have two screws we undo these two screws here at the front you have these two screws which are smaller ones this metal plate is out behind the metal plate you have two more screws in here that you need to undo and now this can slide out the light unit here so you can unplug this cable and you can get the light unit out you want to remove the fan which I will use the drill for and now you can easily get access to this cable which is for the Bluetooth board to get the access to the board you have two more screws that you want to get rid of with those two screws removed now this is pretty easy to lift and be careful because there is a cable which is attached to the Bluetooth board and you don't want to damage that you have four more of these ones Four more screws. You push this out so that you can reveal the Bluetooth board. And there you go. Here's the uh, Bluetooth board. And then I compared the two boards and I saw that one of the chips was damaged and this was causing the inconsistent behavior. And now we can swap the two boards. So we put the new board in and we screw it with the four screws. And then we want to put a bit of silicon so we can uh, have a waterproof seal and then we put the front bit in and then we insert the top hat into the bigger chassis of the headlight unit and then we use the screws to secure it in the screws are long and pointy so these these four screws essentially hold this part here and this part here so this is pulled towards the chassis with the screws in then we can plug the fan back in and then reinstall it when the fan is secured and now we can slot in the actual light unit and then plug it in and uh, get the lift switch cable through the hole so we can do a bit of cable management so then we insert the two screws at the front of the actual light unit and two more screws go in there hiding behind the metal plate uh, we secure them in and then after that we can put the metal plate so everything looks nice and neat and this is it pretty much we've uh, successfully swapped the bluetooth board Guys, thank you so much for watching this quick repair video and definitely stay tuned because there are more repair videos coming your way.